Hello, this is part two of my video about my SketchUp to laser cutter plugin, uh, which outputs G code for a laser cutter from SketchUp. Um, that the first video I made about it was about 15 minutes long, so I didn't really want to go through all of the features that are available in the plugin. Um, there's one feature that I haven't talked about yet, which is a feature that lets you take a 3D model. Uh, which is composed of components that correspond to layers of acrylic, which it will automatically turn that model into a cut sheet um, for different thicknesses of acrylic. Um, the reason I didn't put this in the first video is it is quite difficult to explain um, because it only takes a particular style of model, which is sort of something that I've come up with myself. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try to explain this as clearly as I can. This model here is split into layers, like a, a kind of cake or whatever, um, and each of these layers is a separate component, so I'll just highlight it so you understand what I mean. Uh, that's one component, another component, another component here. So each of these three components corresponds to uh, one layer of acrylic, one piece, if you like, of acrylic. Um, so unless your model is composed like that, it won't work. However, this is the most convenient way that I've found to visualize um, an acrylic model within SketchUp. So if I hide that, it just kind of ties together all of those separate faces and shapes that would otherwise um, be quite hard to keep track of. It just everything corresponds to, to one piece of acrylic. I'll just unhide those. Uh, so where my plugin comes in is it can transform each of those components into a shape within a cut sheet. Um, so if I go to create cut sheet as SketchUp file, you'll be able to choose which thicknesses of acrylic sheets you, you have. Um, which cut sheets you want to produce. So I already know that this model has some 3mm um, components and some 4mm thick components. So I just put 3, 4, click OK. Then um, you were to choose file name. I'll just put uh, demo.sketchup. Um, click save. It just takes a while because there's a lot of different geometrical transforms going on there to, to flatten out all of those faces. Um, so if I look at what that created, I'll just go to open. Um, what I've got is demo 3mm dot sketchup and demo 4mm dot sketchup. It just appended the thickness of the acrylic to the file name. On each of these. So if I open up the 3mm one, it's a flattened out file containing all of the 3mm thick pieces uh, or faces that my program could find. Obviously, you don't want all those little bits, but the really important thing is here you've got a component there and a component there because you had two components. Um, which were three millimeters thick, it's automatically giving you two shapes, even though they're identical. It just means you know you've got exactly the right number. I'm just gonna neaten this up a bit. Uh, just forgotten how to use Sketch up here. Um, just gonna move that to your to the origin. Um, get rid of those. Move that one next to it. And get rid of these as well. So that one, I'll just save that again. And this is now ready to use that first feature of my plugin that I showed you to say export G code from 2D drawing. And this is what will create your offset G code path that will run through the laser cutter. I'll just cancel that, I don't really want to do that at the moment. Um, I'll just show you the 4mm cut sheet. That should have one component 
which was four millimeters thick. Uh, yeah, it's got a load of other little bits, but I figured it's probably easier to delete what you don't want than uh, than have the program ignore something that you actually did want. And then, I mean, obviously, what this would do is if you had lots of different components that you actually wanted to cut on the laser for four millimeters thick acrylic, you could just arrange them manually yourself. I mean. That is the, the G-code creation programs uh, that you can buy will obviously lay out the components in the most efficient manner on the cut sheet as well, but this is not one of those programs. It's, it's relatively basic, but it does everything you want. Anyway, I hope that's, that may be useful to some of you. Um, as I said, the, the model that I'm using is kind of my own format for like the easiest way to store information about um, acrylic models in SketchUp um, but if you use that same format you just create a component for each sheet of acrylic that you use then you'll be able to go straight to a g-code file essentially um, I hope you found this video useful um, and do check back for, for more updates to this plugin which will include uh, hopefully CNC routers, 2.5D machine support um, and maybe more in the future. And do click subscribe if you want to be sure to get all those updates.